Today, Gilbert is showing us how to interpret data on a stem and leaf plot. Gilbert, I want to take a look at yesterday's sales. I want to look at how each one of our eight salesmen did. What is the best way to go about this? Mrs. Kermit and I am so glad you asked. I used a stem and leaf to plot the data for you. This stem and leaf plot represents the total Friday sales. I don't want to talk about gardening, Gilbert. I want to talk about sales. The name is Gilbert, and we are not talking about gardening. A stem and leaf plot is another way to chart data. The stem or beginning of the number is represented in the left column of the chart, and the leaf of the ending number is represented in the right column of the chart. Oh, this is so confusing. No worries, Mrs. C. I will explain. At the bottom of a stem, and leaf plot there is usually a key to explain what the stem and leaf represent. As you can see in our chart, when 10 the stem and 5 the leaf are combined it equals 105. Hmm, this is real nice there, Gilly. How much did the salesman with the lowest amount sell? Look at the lowest stem. It is 10 and combined it with the lowest leaf, which is 0. According to our key this would equal 100. The lowest sale total today was $100. I see it's all starting to make sense. The chart tells me the highest total sale of the day was $159. I looked at the 15, or the highest stamp, and combined it with the highest leap to get $159. Right on Mrs. Kermigen. You are really getting the hang of this. You can teach an old dog new tricks. To find the total sales for Friday, we need to add up all the data listed in the chart. Can you help me with this, Mrs. C? Just tell me the numbers, and I will add them as you go. Glad to be of help. Start with 100, then add 101, plus 105, plus 111, plus 123, plus 123, plus 125. Finally, add 159. This gives us a grand total of $947. It sure was a fabulous Friday for fishy friends. We should celebrate.